Hello, I am so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we can, I will be making some pan fried potatoes, some red potatoes, and I will show you how to do that. This is going to be garlic and rosemary pan fried potatoes, and I want you to see how I do it, okay? So over here, I have six potatoes, and I'm going to cut my potatoes. I'm cutting them pretty big, just in four. And what I'm going to do is before I pan fry these potatoes, I'm going to steam them. I'm going to put them in my steamer because when you steam them and you half cook them a little bit, it makes it the process go much faster because it will take longer in the pan to cook. So I am going to put these in my steamer first. That's it. These are my six potatoes. These are nice and clean. So I'm going to go over here and put them in my pot. I put these in here in my steamer. I just give these a few minutes just to half cook. You don't want it to be fully cooked till they're soft. You just want them to half cook. So you put a fork, a little knife and check them and make sure that they're not too soft before you go on to the next step. As you can see the fork goes in. They're not fully cooked. They're getting soft. So they're both done. And then I'll do them in a pan. Guys. So I'm emptying my potatoes there. Turn my stove off. So to my potatoes, I will add some black pepper. I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm going to add a little paprika. All purpose seasoning. And, to, and what I'm going to do is toss this up a little. These are my potatoes. Now over here, I have a few garlic that I chopped up really small. I'm going to stir my garlic up here. And over here, I have some fresh rosemary. This came out of my garden. I have this in my garden. And I am going to chop this up. And add a little rosemary. Add some rosemary to that as well. Make sure everything is mixed up well. And now let's go over to the stove and we're going to pan fry this. I have my pan. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil, maybe with a tablespoon of oil in my pan. Pan is not hot yet. Give the pan a couple minutes to get hot. So when I put my potatoes in now, guys, I'm going to put my potatoes down face like that in my pan. Face down. We're making pan potatoes, guys. See, when you parboil your potatoes a little bit, then they'll cook quickly. When you put them in the oven, they take a lot longer in the oven. So I like to do them this way. It goes much quicker. Once this is done, I'm just going to add a little butter to it. And this will be my pan potatoes. But to my... Um, potatoes I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle a little salt garlic that I had cut up that was left in there I'm just going to put that all over there we don't want to waste that this is the garlic and the rosemary And just let that go all over and this is our pan fried potatoes guys give us a few minutes here and then I'll take it off okay guys 
So this is how you make your pan potatoes. Guys, and this is your pan potatoes. Now, let me go ahead and taste it for you. <laughs> okay, guys, so let me taste it for you, okay? So let me just take one of these potatoes. Guys, this is just a, a quick way to make some nice tasting potatoes to go with your chicken, your beef, your pork, whatever you want it to go with, okay? So let me taste it for you. I'm always dropping stuff. Mm. It is nice and it's seasoned well. You have the garlic flavor. If you like garlic, I mean you can you can add other stuff to it if you like. If you like fresh pepper, you can add I add black pepper, you can add you know some hot pepper cayenne pepper whatever you want to add my plate is all the way over there you can add to it but it's it is delicious delicious it's good parboil your potatoes a little bit so that it can cook faster And it is delicious guys thank you so much for joining me today I hope you can make some potatoes some easy potatoes for your family I had fun making this for my family and I hope you have fun making some for your family as well until next time bye bye